Hello everyone, my name is Kenji and this is my final project for CSE 578. In it, I'll be comparing the effectiveness of different recurrent neural network cells in predicting the price of digital currencies uh, on an hourly basis. So the goals of this evaluation analysis project are to accurately predict uh, the trend if, if prices will go up or down and the actual price using um, a recurrent neural network I'll be using LSTM and GRU cells and comparing uh, their effectiveness for my parameters and the size of the data. If all goes well, I'd love to implement these findings to make billions of dollars. So a bit about cryptocurrencies. Uh, they are distributed based on blockchain technology. And because they are distributed and digital, uh, that means that they're actually a bit safer because all of the information is transparent. Unlike in a bank where your uh, money goes in and it's kind of a black box, all the transactions are recorded on this digital ledger. Um, it's, again, it's digital, so the transactions are fast. If I send someone money, they get it almost right away and almost free because there's essentially like no real people that you have to go through. Um, the market is also very volatile. The price swings a lot. So that's great for trading at an hour, minute, or second lead basis. Uh, if you look at the price of three of the larger coins, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin over time, there's a really aggressive upward trend in the data, uh, almost exponential rise, and that's relatively hard to scale. So if you did a zero to one scale on the data set, uh, there's a high likelihood that the data you'd be testing on would be outside of that scope, so it would be up here somewhere. So instead, I used um, differencing. I took the difference, the change from one point to the next in the hourly data. Um, and I took the log of the initial points because these are exponential. And I got this relatively uh, flat distribution here. And so that is what I tested on. I also tried to scale um, 0 to 1 instead of this approach. And I had a lot better results with um, the log differencing here. So quickly about LSTM and GRU and why I chose these two. Um, they're both focused on conquering the vanishing gradient problem. GRU is a bit newer and it's not necessarily as well tested. Um, it's also a bit simpler. So as you can see, this is the LSTM uh, approach here. And memory is kept in this cell and it's evaluated using three gates here. Um, the GRU only uses two gates, and some people have hypothesized that because of this, it generalizes a bit better, and it learns more quickly on smaller data sets. So I wanted to test if, you know, those things were true based on my data set. So for each, um, for, you know, for this model, I have 15 um, input data points uh, five for each coin for the high, the low, the volume, the open price, and the close price per hour uh, for each uh, series. I wanted to pr predict the high of Ethereum price, and I used the RMS prop optimizer over SGD or Atoms because RMS had the best results, and it was um, designed specifically for recurrent neural nets. Uh, in both applications, when I used LSTM layers or GRU layers, I had two layers, the first with 100 nodes, the second with 200, and a dropout of 0.2. And they all led to a dense layer uh, with an output of 1. I used 100 epics and a batch size of 100. So talking about this lead time, that's the number of time series data points that are fed into the model. So you have uh, three data points uh, fed in each time. So it's the batch size, um, the number of time steps, and then the number of input variables. So for 10 time steps, which had by far the highest accuracy, I tried 15, I tried 5, I tried 1. A 10 seemed to be the sweet spot for both of these models. I got an accuracy of about 62% for LSTM and 60% for predicting uh, correctly the direction of the change from one series to another. Uh, for my other um, test, which was 5 time steps, I was right around 50 3% with LSTM and 52% with GRU. So in both cases, even with less data, LSTM outperformed GRU. Uh, with 60%, I think that 
you know, I, I could make money by making this automatic. And, um, you know, I think I'll try and implement that. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to hearing your feedback.